AirTags have been rumoured and leaked for years now, and recently Apple finally took the wraps off the new trackers. AirTags are designed to help users keep track of their non-smart belongings by leveraging the massive Apple Find My network and offering a number of tools for tracking. They're not overly expensive either, at least not on their own. AirTags come at $29 for one and $99 for four, and you likely won't need to replace them for years to come, especially given the fact that the batteries are replaceable. But should you buy AirTags for yourself? And how well do they compete? I've been using AirTags for a while now to find out. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support my work and I would appreciate that support. The first thing to note about AirTags is their design, and it pretty much matches the design leaked in renders in the months leading up to their release. The device is small, puck-shaped, and lightweight. On the top, there's a white plastic exterior, while on the back can be found a silver circle that can be removed, under which you'll find the replaceable coin cell battery. In general, the device is a little larger than a quarter, meaning that you can easily carry it in a bag or even in a wallet if you want to. Of course, there is one issue related to where you can put AirTags the fact that there's no keyring hole built into them. That's pretty frustrating. It means that you have to rely on extra accessories to keep an AirTag on your keychain. Apple offers its own first party holders for AirTags, but they're pretty pricey. This keyring holder, for example, comes at $35, more than doubling the price of an AirTag. This leather loop holder comes at $40, which is even more expensive. Thankfully, there are third party options and there are a ton of AirTag accessories on Amazon right now. So you should be able to find something relatively inexpensive. I can't speak to the quality of those third party accessories though. Setting up an AirTag is very simple. You'll open up the device and pull out the plastic tab from the battery, which will activate the device. Then hold it next to your iPhone, and it does have to be an iPhone, and it'll automatically show up on your phone's display. You have to be running iOS 14.5 or later to use AirTags. You'll then be able to assign the device to an item, name it, and so on. Of course, perhaps the best thing about AirTags is the fact that they can leverage Apple's massive Find My network to help you find your devices. Basically, an AirTag's Bluetooth and ultra wide band connection can communicate with passing iPhones, even those of random people, to update their location. This is all done securely in the background, meaning that iPhone users won't know when they're passing someone else's AirTag. That means that as long as there's an iPhone in range, you'll be able to get updated location information about your AirTag. Now, others have attempted to create a similar network, but none can compare with the sheer size of Apple's network of devices. Tile devices, for example, can communicate with phones with the Tile app, but the network of devices with the Tile app just isn't as big as the network of iPhones. And as a result, AirTag users are likely to get better real-time information than Tile users. Using that real-time information, Apple offers a number of features in the Find My app to help users find their AirTags. In the Find My app, you can see the location of your item on a map, which is a great starting point for helping you find your device. Once you get within ultra wideband range, there are other tools. You could just play a sound from your AirTag, which will help alert you to its location. Alternatively, you could also use use the find feature, which will give you arrows complete with how many feet and inches you are away from your air tag. There's haptic feedback too, with colors on the display, which helps. It's a pretty smart system and is usually only a few inches off at most. In other words, it should be very easy to find an air tag using this tool. Of course, not everything about air tags is perfect. Apart from the previously mentioned lack of keychain hole, air tags also come with some privacy issues. Apple has done its best to get around these issues, but they are still there. For example, it's conceivable that someone could use an air tag to track the location of someone else. AirTags use two different tactics to warn users that someone else's AirTag might be following them. If your iPhone notices that an AirTag that's not yours is following you, you'll get a notification on your device. And if you still don't find the AirTag, it will start chirping which will also happen for Android users. But these features can take some time to kick in. The notification will reportedly take a few hours to kick in, and the sound may not start for a few days. It's hard to think of a real solution to this, but it's still something to note. Of course, your own location data won't be shared by AirTags. Location information isn't stored in AirTags themselves, and it's encrypted in the cloud, so there's no danger of someone else somehow accessing it. So, should you buy AirTags? Well, if you're an iPhone user that wants a tracker for your items, then absolutely. Apple is leveraging its massive network of devices to create a superior product. AirTags aren't perfect, but they're pretty close for iPhone users. And on top of that, they're not overly expensive. If you're an Android user, then it may be better to turn to something from Tile. Thanks so much for watching this video. And again, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if it was helpful to you. My name is Christian and I'll see you next time. See ya.